Have you ever wanted to learn how to play the guitar, but never had the money or resources to learn? Well, the Idea Lab tech team found such a program that can meet your needs, called Jamming at the Library. Jamming at the Library is a California State Library grant-funded program, and intern Sierra Lewis and Shima Farmani met with the founders of the program, Pete Meisner and Eddie Huertas, to talk more about the program's origins. Jamming at the Library is a program that we have here at the Central Library for teens and young adults ages 12 to 25 and it's guitar instruction. So we joined our resources and collaborated on writing a grant to get the funding for the Jamming at the Library program. We looked at some community partners and we uh, ended up talking to San Diego State and they were very happy to try to get us some instructors that would be interested in gaining experience teaching music. And the other big partner, um, we approached Taylor Guitars, which is a, in El Cajon. They're um, a premium guitar maker right here in our own city. And they are very anxious to make guitar instruction available. We also spoke to the guitar instructor for the program, Alex, and his helpful assistants about why they decided to start teaching for the program and what they enjoy best. The thing that makes it all, everything come together for me is uh, I love coming in and seeing, you know, at the beginning, when we started the program, people would, would be playing their C chord and just saying, I can't do it, I can't do it, my fingers hurt, I can't do it. And seeing the progress that they've made and knowing that they can do it and how much they've improved even beyond that point. I like the fact that I'm helping out the next generation with um, pursuing what they really want to play. Like I remember I was 12 when I wanted to play guitar and um, there was no classes really offering it so I just had a guitar sitting there in my room and I heard about this program that opened up and it, it really made me think like there's people out there who want to play guitar but just don't got the materials or the, the tools to learn. Lastly, we interviewed some participants, like Deborah and Deborah, a mother-daughter duo who attends jamming every week. Um, music lessons are very expensive and this is uh, a no-charge class, so we're taking advantage and, and it's very good for my daughter's uh, development. I like everything. I like that we can take the guitars home so we can practice at home. All the people that are involved in these guitar lessons, they're willing to help. They come uh, because they want to teach the kids. They care about the kids and um, they don't charge anything. And, and they, love, they love what they do. The real goal was that not just to learn a skill, but to have some interaction with other kids and, and a self-esteem element to it. You know, getting that kind of confidence of accomplishment and uh, I think we're actually seeing that happen and it's really exciting, but that really was the goal. It's so exciting to see some of the students put themselves out there when they couldn't even play a chord in the beginning or they were shy to play in front of just their peers. And now to see them playing in a, in a public space and you know sh showcasing what they learn, I think that's exciting just to see that growth. But I'm also really excited about where it's gonna go. So now that we have these guitars and we have these resources, we could do it at different libraries. We could do it with different age groups. And um, also just having the access. How cool is it that you can check out a guitar for free so you can practice these skills. So ha making that access for more patrons available, I think that's gonna be awesome.